in Nawajuddin Siddiqui. Do you remember what he said? Regarding what, sir? What is total football? Sir, total football is... Would offer to the country as a civil servant. That is offered to me. I'd like to do that. How many members are there in ASEAN? Ten members are there. Please come. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Arpit. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Arpit, introduce yourself quickly. I am from Udham Singh Nagar district of Uttarakhand. I have done my B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering from Goenbala Pant University of Agriculture and Technology, Uttarakhand. And my hobbies include football, Hollywood movies, cycling. And so, based on the result of the uh, civil service exam 2020, I have been appointed in the IDS, Indian Defence Accounts Society. Oh, very good, very good. Very good. Um, so now, from first question from Hollywood to Bollywood. Yes, so now, the Bollywood is in the news for last two days. What is the reason for that? Language controversy, sir. From the South uh, movies and the North movies, they are saying that. Our language movies are better and... In Nawajuddin Siddiqui, do you remember what he said? Regarding what, sir? Uh, that I get all scripts in English. I refuse, I can't read. Sorry, sir, I when know. movies in Hindi, then why this English script? And he concluded, and that's why the standard of Hindi movies is going down. And all southern movies which have their script in their own languages are doing far better. What is your comment on this? So I think that uh, whatever he said is genuinely okay. That means the thing about the status of the movies going down. So that is something that can be seen. Regarding South movies, sir, uh, maybe script or whatever is the reason, the movies in South India are doing better on the box office also. and. Uh, for sir, uh, what I believe is that the reason behind why they are given the script in, in English language uh, is that uh, because actors in Bollywood are coming from many places all over India. So, what uh, the thinking behind giving this is that everybody should be able to read these things. So, so that is. But what he says further in one of the other interview, long back the same debate was there. Amitabh Bachchan, Om Puri, Nasiruddin Shah were three actors who used to compel that you give me in Hindi, we will not. These are the three important. Uh, rest, those who are from whatever language, they can be, at least the choice should be with them, isn't it? Because creativity comes out best when it is in your, if it is for Tamil, it can be in Tamil, it is for Kannad, it can be for Kannad, isn't it? What is your opinion? Sir, if the translation is good, then I think that we can do this. Means if we translate word by word properly, if the meaning is same, then the translation. What is what? What you feel uh, the difference between Hollywood and Bollywood? Sir, Hollywood is about. Uh, it is a very. It means the themes of movies are very vast. In Bollywood, the themes are not that vast. Themes no. means story. Story script means the. The, uh, the themes on which we make the movies. In Bollywood, if we see, sir, uh, more or less, they are on the same thing. Every second movie is regarding the same thing. Hollywood, so why, why don't you try to... In, uh, because you are an expert in Bollywood, you are an engineer, sharp, actor-like personality. I never thought about it. Okay. Uh, that's, that's, uh, uh, your parents are teachers? Teachers. Where they are posted? In Uttarakhand itself, sir. Udham Singhnagar district. My report says that in education, Uttarakhand is doing quite well. Uh, for last 10 years, they have started in all the schools, Diwar Patrika, Wal. School, ke bachche hi nikalte hai. Have you heard that? Sir, sir, uh, what is the subjects of your parents? Sir, my mother is English teacher and my father is mathematics and science. Okay. Can we have political science? Yes, sir. Uh, In the uh, that course of civilization, yes, starting from uh, ancient India or ancient Europe, what important events has shaped to present democracy? Sir, from Greece. only bullet four or five. 
sir we start from greece from greece okay A ancient greece democracy was there in some form okay greece then we can be there. okay sir then uh, from uh, uk later on from the 1648 uh, there was a treaty of westphalia was signed what why that was important sir because uh, nation... listen i am talking that we want to reach the democracy today's democracy the all ingredients how they have been uh, from the all these centuries so like from france the revolution of france the french france is very important yes sir we got liberty fraternity equality these quality, these values came in and napoleon when was napoleon defeated sir 1815 it was where sir uh, waterloo oh, everybody meets at waterloo is a quotation okay and then thereafter sir just uh, quick last question sir then uh, revolution in the us the, for the setting up of the us in 1773 ah you are going back what okay now we will go further Yes, either that should be first the liberty so then okay just now i am cutting my question why every time the statue of liberty is a woman and and woman is world over most of the time in the chains so maybe they want to represent that the chains need to be broken and we want to make them free indian woman is in chain or liberated sir not liberated completely but means there are some forms of change which are there and we see them every day don't you feel we need to do more sir we need, obviously we need sir, to do more sir pe yes. indian judiciary has many problems but i am talking about one problem only which is at the, at the core of it and because of which people say that justice delayed is just denied right and that is 4.4 crore cases are pending and the number is increasing day by day my question to you is a pin pointed question what would be your suggestions the most important three suggestions at least to get over this problem over a period of time or to reduce it at least so first of all i think we need to focus upon the vacancies the most important is vacancies so means uh, think over it again mm-hmm. alternate dispute resolution we need to follow so that cases in these large quantities do not reach the courts they can be settled outside the courts uh, so you have sir, told me two which is more important of these two sir uh, alternate uh, dispute why? resolution why not this your sir, initial re- uh, reaction was the vacancies or this is why not vacancies so because uh, uh vacancies we cannot always you, means always they will no we vacancies. presume they can always be filled actually this is a rare situation earlier we never heard of vacancies <coughs> there are so many vacancies because you presume vacancies are 100% full there are no vacancies then and tell me a third thing online mechanisms online follow so means uh, when cases are heard in offline it was mode, tried in covid it was a big failure in courts they have demanding <laughs> going back to the offline and they have started i think it's leave it what is the correlation between state of economy so let's talk of indian economy what is the correlation between state of economy and uh, the health of the share market sir in the past few years we have seen that the correlation is something they are moving in the opposite direction opposite yes sir good in economy the, bad share market sir uh, economy has been bad after covid and the share market has been doing very good we that was seen, only oh, during covid during covid sir. right but otherwise otherwise they <laughs> follow the same direction means if the uh, they follow the same direction to, yes, so sir. why did they follow opposite direction now in the covid time sir uh, one of the reason was that during covid the governments gave lot of uh, financial uh, packages so all government the packages raise the share market sir, government gave people, packages to the poor people who don't know sir, about share market corporates also and for many people got the package so what was the package to the corporates from the government sir uh, 
government gave to the food to the poor and money to the poor only so then the uh, sir uh, yeah and the one of the reason is that the young generation is very much going towards share it market it is the young generation which drives the share market sir it is means in a young part generation hasn't got that much of surplus money we people do it actually okay you are interested in which sport football football sir what is total football sir total football is uh, it's a form of football what they do is that they want to take the possess the ball for more time short passes and complete possession with their own team means one player will not uh, keep the ball for long time they'll keep on passing short passes and they will take the ball forward or backward wherever that they want it is not really total football that's every team tries to have more possession some total is something more than that something to do with the formation the pattern i'm giving you a hint sir, which sir. pattern you play which formation you play sir 3 3 4 3 3 4 what is total now you got the point there is no segregation there no placement given all can move yes, all can anybody all can, can move uh, down that a, is total a, any place yes that's the adaptability sir. that's total yes yeah, <coughs> so what you would offer to the country as a civil servant so i would like to do whatever <laughs> service means whatever job that is offered to me i would like to do that completely so civil service is job so means uh, for one self it's means it's a job means at one time we are doing one particular job and if we are doing that properly then i believe that that's the best thing that we can do so task at hand task at hand okay so that is the only offer you are going to make in sir a uh, up to a certain level means we, that's the only thing that we can do means uh, when we are on the field then whatever we see so in achieving the goal okay whatever task is there there will be a goal okay you would use all means sir uh, most probably i would like to go for uh, legal means means whatever is lawful means there by the law lawful means but okay. depending upon situation if sometimes the need arises that we okay. need to do something now then. you t- tell me basically you know i was looking at the sdg rank of uh, uttarakhand uh, what it is sir it's i'm not sure sir but it's about 15 maybe no it's quite uh, I'm remembering the, of last year probably uh, among the first 10 15 states okay but up is almost in the bottom 5 yes sir so should we uh, make a smaller state so based upon the experience of uttarakhand uh, we can say that making smaller scales is a good idea so which of the states you would like to further sir uh, it has been said that up shall be divided into four parts shall be or maybe means sir we are not sure that it would be or not but proposals have been made for four states out of okay. up hmm. sir means if we consider up as a okay. rectangle okay so up will be one state what else sir a uh, bundelkhand shall be one bundelkhand is part of up bhai or or basically carving out from two three states sir could you please repeat the question i i think i which other it. states you would like to by apart for, from you by uh, by for apart from up hmm. sir madhya pradesh is quite big hmm then rajasthan is quite big hmm but population in these states is not as large as up so the main problem that up faces is about but maharashtra population. you did not mention already there were demand anyway um uh, now you tell me one thing that both hp and uh, uttarakhand himachal uttarakhand and also northeastern states they have done well because they were considered as a special category states now time has come that we take away from a special category status so in any case on paper it has been removed and give such privileges to bihar up because they are not doing well they have been deprived so deprivation the reasons for bihar up and for states like uttarakhand and northeast are not the same i would say are you sure sir for uttarakhand the limitations are very much 
depending upon the geography what of was, the state. What was freight equalization policy? Sorry, sir. Freight equalization policy when Bihar was rich. So, Andhra was asking uh, special uh, category status. Yes, sir. Okay. One of the reasons that one political party dissociated from them. Anyway, so you are telling ki on what basis, on what indicator you will like to give assistance to the state or apportion the revenue to the state on efficiency or on backwardness? Backwardness. So then there will be vested interest to remain backward, so, like reservation. Yes, sir, but uh, for backward states means we need to give them a chance at least. We need to give them resources, additional resources so that they can at least... For a certain them. period okay. and give yes, them we can review and link it with the performance. Yes, sir. Okay. Then we can review after some years and then we can okay. decide further. Okay. <clears throat> Arpit, yes, sir. Uh, you are from Uttarakhand. Yes, sir. You hmm. explain Deva Prayag, Karna Prayag, Rudra Prayag, which are the rivers meeting in each of these Prayags? Uh, uh, sir, uh, there are five Prayags. So, first of all, at Dev Prayag, Laknanda meets uh, uh, Bhagirathi at Dev Prayag, Laknanda meets uh, Mandakini at uh, Rudra Prayag and the third was Karn Prayag. You were saying five? There, there are five. Okay, you tell one asked. by one five of them. Uh, Laknanda meets five rivers at and there are the five Prayags are formed. Very good. So the ah. first is the Dholi Ganga is meeting. That place is Vishnu Prayag. After that Nand Prayag, Nandakini river meets. After that Karn Prayag that is formed by the meeting of Pindar river. Then after that, uh, from the opposite side, we have Mandakini, that is the Rudra Prayag, and the fifth is the Dev Prayag, where the uh, Bhagirathi meets. Disaster management of Uttarakhand is important after the major disaster. Yes, when sir. was the disaster? What kind of disaster management the state government has in place. Sir, so, Uttarakhand has had major disasters since since means since long. But the recent one that we know was the 2013 Kedarnath floods, and uh, Uttarakashi earthquake was there in uh, 1991. Chamuli earthquake in 1999, and recently, sir, we had at Joshimat a uh, glacial lake outburst flood was there. So. So man for management, what we need to do probably is that glacial lake outburst is a major problem nowadays. More due to climate change, the lakes are melting soon. So we need to map properly all these lakes where they are. And in the regions nearby them, we shall, we shall always keep a check on the development activities. Earthquakes, sir, we have very much limitation uh, regarding earthquakes. We cannot know that when and where will it come. So we cannot do very much for that except the fact that we uh, create shelters and uh, we create buildings in such a way that whenever any disaster like uh, it comes, so they are able to stand it. Disaster management, meteorological warning, how does it help? How you can improve the meteorological warning and uh, management of disasters? Sir, meteorological warnings using satellite data, using mapping, uh, we can, like for example, if clouds are forming at any region at a fast pace and we feel that cloud burst can happen, so we can give the warnings so to the people so that they could move out from that particular place. Similarly, sir, uh, Meteorological data in whatever form we are using it. So, the mainly the main thing is about warnings. The meteorological data can be used to give warning to the people. Hmm. 
Uh, last question on political science. Hobbes, Locke, Rousseau. Talking about law of nature and in natural law. Sir, Hobbes said that uh, might is right and that the state of nature is a state of war, of all against all. He was not very much convinced regarding the human nature and he said that if people are let free, then there will be war. So he said that we need to give state powers, huge powers and the only right that people shall have is the right to life. And if the state goes to take on their right to life, only then they can say anything to the state or not. But then John Locke, uh, said that there are three rights right to life, liberty and property and Rousseau Rousseau uh, Rousseau talked about general will ok, I understood uh, Arpit, tell me in fact Many a times we, when we talk about international relations, we use three parameters. We say there are areas where we can cooperate, there are areas where we would compete, and there are areas where there will be confrontation. Right? Now, India's relationship with China, tell me, where can we cooperate, where shall we compete, and where there would be confrontation? Cooperation can be in areas like climate change. Climate change. So, river waters management. All right. And on, uh, on neighboring states like Afghanistan is there, so uh, both the countries can cooperate. I thought there the more possibility of competing rather than cooperating. So means we shall try cooperation, but possibly what would come, maybe it is competition. What are other international spaces where we can cooperate? We have been cooperating, in fact. So spaces. Spaces in the sense, the organizations. Yeah. BRICS hmm? is there. BRICS is one, yes, which yeah. means uh, uh, these are called uh, plurilateral organizations. So hmm? RIC platform is there. RIC we are not there. Our, our SEP, we did not go there. So we have given up. Yes. SCO is there, Shanghai Cooperation SCO Organization. SCO is there, exactly. What else? So, then no problem. Is, now tell me compete. Trade is what one are the region. potential areas where we will compete? Trade is a trade place is one. where All we are right. competing. Then there are... No, but trade we are, we are strictly not competing in fact. Because, you know, we are not competing with China in the international market. Right? They are they are far far away from us in terms of both the product lines and the market access. So we, we are not able to compete. And bilaterally we are not competing because what we give them, they don't have to give us. What they give us, we do not have to give them. So there is no not really much of competition. Hmm? Sir, uh, so then competition in the now yes you you said Afghanistan. Yeah. Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Africa, Africa, Africa yeah, exactly. Africa both so are those, are, those are open spaces for competition. For competition. Hmm? And confrontation? Sir, confrontation, border issues. Border issues. All right. Anything else? All right. How many members are there in ASEAN? Ten members are there. Uh, can you name them? I can try. Sir, Myanmar. Which is the nearest to India? Which ASEAN member is closest to India? Myanmar. Myanmar. Start from Myanmar. Let's see. Uh, uh, Myanmar, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, what is the, Brunei. What is the, what is the size of ASEAN economy? Is yeah. it one of the major economies? Sir, as an entire group, it oh, is a, as a group, ten, 10 countries. Sir, uh, it's quite big, means I'm not sure about the value, but it's quite big. Any estimate vis a vis India would ASEAN be larger than India or smaller than India? 
seven. No problem. It's all right. Maybe. Yes, Arpit. बताइए क्या किया आपने कैसा किया? Well, how was your own assessment? Sir, uh, it was average. When is your interview? Twenty fifth of May. Time is there. Hmm? Yeah, I think you will probably have to prepare a little more, a bit more. Hmm? Either you took it casually today. That's all, no problem. I know the game. No, you didn't prepare very much. Hmm? You have to prepare for prelims also and for interview also. So till now I focus more on prelims. Then now I'll be focusing more on. Hmm. So just prepare. You know the game, right? When is the prelim? Fifth of June, sir. So there is a very less time on hmm. on. So But preparing for the prelims will also help you preparing for the interview. Yes, sir. It is. Yes. So they are really uh, mutually yeah. interlinked. Uh, yeah, help helpful. In fact, right? I think you do as we 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 said. Just prepare because no, don't go unprepared, right? No exam should be taken unprepared. Yeah. So prepare a bit more, and then maybe you can uh, practice once more in say ten days time. Hmm? Because I would expect you to answer all questions well. Content. And its structure, isn't it? No, you know, tell me you, your opinion. Would you not expect? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. With your experience, with your background, yeah. So do that, and then try it in ten days. You did well, but you need to do be much, better. much better. Yes, sir. but one, you no, know, I don't know. Again, it is probably not expected from a person of your experience. Uh, you remember you initially uh, in answer to my colleague. You said to the extent possible, I'll try to do things as per the law. Mm. To the extent possible, you can't say that. Say that. Which you means there will be occasions when you will not play by the law. Yeah, you said there would be an exceptional situation here and there. Then you kept silent, but the interpretation was that then you won't care for the law. Yes, sir. Never say that. Yeah. Rough weather or good weather, you are not supposed to well, go against the law. You have to go according to the law. Right, sir. Yes. Sure, sir. Even in your dream, never say that. <laughs> All right. You will do well. Yeah. Okay. But we both agree that you were not prepared today. Can you can bet, yes. <laughs> right. All the best.